Good morning, welcome to the channel. I'm in the kitchen, finally. We're going to try to get a cabinet built here today. I don't know, been having trouble with this hand. It's feeling a little better today. Uh, I don't know, my grip isn't that good. Part of, part of having carpal tunnel, and no, I'm never going to get the surgery. So I just have to deal with it, man. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to build a cabinet to go across the length of this. You can see I did not proceed with the flooring where the cabinet is going. Be a waste of material. And right now I have a plan. I do have a plan. For now I'm just going to get a cabinet that will be level with this. We're going to get it all the way across. Get the butcher block set. And then I have a plan for the upper half. But before I can do any of that, I got to get a piece of sheetrock and cut it, put it in there. Uh, I kind of screwed a two by four to there, so I'm just going to cut one 20 inches and then patch this bottom in. It's all going to be covered. Don't have to tape it, do any of that rig on my row. And we're going to get busy. It's uh, been windy. 30 40 mile an hour wind gusts the last two days today is probably going to be windy as well but i got to get rolling on this man just got to get rolling on it so I'll, I'll come back in intervals show you my progress uh, i might film a little bit of the putting the cabinet together i don't know i don't plan these stupid things i just do them okay you're gonna watch what i'm gonna put forward i guess or you ain't gonna watch it but that's up to you you could be missing out on some silliness and some fun. You know my videos. It's looking good in here though, guys. But this kitchen, it needs some extra stuff. And I'm gonna try to get it done. All right, let's go. All right, I got my saws all set up here. It's pretty windy today, not as bad as yesterday. So I've got eight legs cut. You'll see what I'm doing with that. I'm going to be putting those drawers back in so I got a section just like it had uh, that the drawers will be able to go back into because I got to have my drawers man and these are the pieces I'm cutting the length there'll be two of them like that and we're going to start assembling it I really don't want to assemble it out here because it's going to be heavy but it's going to be easier to do it that way do it right here on the sidewalk he ain't heavy He's my brother. <laughs> that's that's what my brothers sing about me. <laughs> I like it. All right. Got all eight of my legs cut. Got the the things. And then the width of things. We're going to start slapping it together. Now, I went and measured the drawers where the drawer slides are. So, we got to get that precise I guess I'm just going to get it all built out here, pop it up on end, and I should be able to lift it up and get it into the house. It's a lot easier than going in there and trying to do it. Uh, I am making it just where it's going to, where the countertop, the butcher block countertop is going to fit right underneath the Formica countertop that's, you know, with the sinks in. I think that would look better uh, because you got that rounded edge on the Formica and I don't have a router to try to do all the fancy stuff. That's something I need to get and I always forget. I need a good router and a router table because, and that's coming, we'll get into that. So I'm going to start whipping this all together and get it in there. It's going to take me a while because I want to make sure it's right. Huh?
All right, I got one of them laid out. Now this is going to be the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be where the drawers are going to go right in here. This is where the stove top's going to go. I am going to cut a hole for that. It, it'll go in between there. It's just it vibrates if it's not in you know built in like that. Because if you touch it, it quits vibrating. And I think over here I'm going to put another set of drawers or just a door with a cabinet. Haven't decided yet. So the way this is going to work is this be in the bottom. I'm going to have a four inch. The legs will go in here. Whoop like this here okay one there one over there one in each corner in between here and my cabinet glides will go on them this will give me the four inch kick plate at the bottom there needs to be a kick plate that'll match the other ones and that's what I got on them and I think that's pretty much standard for a cabinet so you're gonna have a leg a leg uh, a leg we're going to do the same thing there. There's going to be eight legs all together. It's going to be very strong. And I need to build the top exactly like that. I've already got that part put together. I just need to put these two 21-inch pieces together. This is 24 inches wide. The butcher block is 25, so we'll have an overhang. Uh, it's probably going to come out from the wall a little bit. So we'll probably end up with about a three-quarter inch overhang, which is standard. And... And I'm covering this in cedar like the other stuff. But it's going to be a good, solid frame. And it's it's time-consuming. It's going to take... If I can get just the frame built today, I'll be happy. It isn't going to be finished today. So, what are you doing, Miss Tilly? She got tired of her carpentry lesson. She went out to lay in the sun. All right, let me get busy. Down in Louisiana, where the tall, tall pine trees grow, there live a preacher daughter and she knows how to jelly roll. And a papa want to save my soul, but a sweet talking daughter, Lord, she loves to jelly roll. Yes, she does. I can't go tomorrow, I'll be gone And my good gal sitting alone She hollered her back, Daddy Daddy, will you come in home? Won't you come on home? Mississippi, get along and they talk. Hell, they can wreck a man just like a cannonball. But hell, I love to watch them fall. Oh, the Mississippi woman, Lord, if they don't beat off. Oh, no, yes, they do. Well, I've been looking out my window as far as I can see. I'm a looking for the rounders and you're looking out for me. Oh, but why won't they let me be? I'm a high stepping papa from way down in Tennessee. Yes, I am. Why don't they let me be? Alright, I got the bottom section done. These are the feet. So I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to put two more supports like I have here and here and put the top on. And the top's going to sit flush. And that butcher block will just sit right on it. But right now, I'm going to make me some raviolis, man. Yeah, it'll be the last time I cook before I have a new counter. 
And we'll see how far we get today. Man, for a minute, my elbow just started hurting like tennis elbow. And then just quick as it came, it left. So maybe the pain from my hand went to my elbow. Where's it going next? My left butt cheek? I don't know. But I can work with a bad left but no, no, no. I can work with a bad left butt cheek. Man, that's a mouthful. Bad left butt cheek. I can work with one of them. The right one? I don't know. I'm gonna go eat, come back, we're gonna whip this cabinet together and then get it in the house. Okay, I'm going to eat now. Go away. <clears throat> okay, dokey. I got her flipped over. I got the top over here. Now we're going to get her set in place. Where's my hammer? Hammer, hammer, hammer time. There it is on my lawnmower. You playing with your toy, Tilly? You can play with your toy. There's that one. And that one. All right. Let me get them close. And put the clamp on it. I don't think this is doing any good, is it? Right, let's see. Wish I had two more clamps. I don't think these are going anywhere. Nope. All right. It's going to be hard to find level because I, I know this sidewalk isn't level. So I'm just, I know my measurements are good. So I'm going to go as flush as I can. Let's see. Where's my other clamp, man? Ah, there it is on the ground. Tilly, are you are you paying attention? Because you're going to have to teach that dog carpentry class one day. Yeah, you are. She's real interested. All right. And no matter how good you do your cuts, you're still going to end up shimming it. That's just how it goes with a cabinet. But I gotta admit, this is coming out pretty good. All right, let's see. Yeah, she's playing with her toy you guys here. She hangs around me if I'm out here. Till if Millie could care less. So she was around here a minute ago. Alrighty then. Lift this up a shade. Alright. I'm gonna get screws in that one, that one, and then we'll do that one. You don't mind to hear you. Uh, get a pocket full of screws. Oh, Alexa. She does not know the difference between 50 and 60s music. You ask for 60s music. Hey, I ain't talking to you. Don't you play nothing. <sighs> Who invented such a thing? Now, right, where's my drill? Get you over here. Y'all can see what I'm doing. It's looking like a cabinet, man. All right, let's go ahead and slap one there. Why? Don't bother me. It's amazing I didn't hit another screw. Alright, now we'll go down to this corner. That sagged a little bit. There we go.
Oh, clamp must not be tight enough. That rattling noise is some guttering that I bought. It's laying on the ground over there. Ah, that's my hand. Why does it want to slap? I'm not playing this game with you. Put one, hey man. Put one right here. That's a bit of a long screw. There we go. Too long. Now that one should go. There we go. Then we'll come back, get more screws in it here in a minute. Get these clamps on the other side and we're ready to haul this thing in yeah that's when the fun starts let's see all right that feels pretty flush all right, you guys get the point. When I get all the screws in, I'll come back. We'll be inside. All right, let me wrangle this dude in there. If my measurements were right, should be no problemo. No problemo. Man, everything just slides nice on this flow. Slides on the flow. Ho, ho, ho. Slides on the flow. All right, you go upright, you. Waga booga! Don't dent the floor. I should. Didn't plan on that. Cabinets being in the way. Because I measured, I took that door off. And that's what I measured. So we got to finagle it. Or I'm going to have to take them doors off. Because I know it will fit. No, that ain't gonna work, man. I gotta take this door off. Well, I'll go get the drill. I'm gonna leave you guys on one second. Just give me one second. That's all I'm asking. One second. All right, I got the drill. I'm coming back to you. All right. I do I have the bit. The bit, the bit, the bit, the bit. Sound like sound like Bugs Bunny or what's his name? Elmer Fudd. The bit, the bit, the bit. That's how you do the Elmer Fudd thing. Just say the bit. The bit, the bit, the bit, the bit, the bit, the bit. All right. Nah, I wasn't planning on wrestling with these doors. Well, you know what? I got to take them off anyway. Because I'm going to sand on them. Yes, sir. Hopefully, that's the only one i got to take off. Put you over by your brother. Your brother door. All right. Should be able to get her in there now. Oh, come on. I don't hear. I'm just going to open you. I gave it a little space, but... Oh, what's going on? I didn't account for the... It's cut right. But the bottom part's hitting it. Oh, man. Let's see. Oh, man, 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 man. See, that's how I do want it. Because I want that overhang here. It's just a tight, tight, tight fit. Now I got that stupid beam in the way. No, I can already tell you. I'm going to have to take this piece of trim off. Then it'll go. All right, I won't waste you guys' time on that. Let me get that done. All right, that was a butt kicker. Now, she should go. Let me get a... Swig of water, guys. 
I think she'll slide in now. Otherwise, I got to take that tin off, which wouldn't be no big deal, but. All right. Yeah, it's hitting the tin, but. There. I didn't make it to be loose. I wanted a tight fit. Just got to get it in even. Little at a time. I don't like where it's going to hit that outlet. I don't think I thought of that. Alright, what's it hitting on now? This wall. This wall is so cattywampus and weird. What's in there? Yeah, I'm going to have to take the tin off. Maybe. See if I can't. There we go. Lift this end up. <clears throat> It all stems from, remember, that wall being way out. So, it will be needing to be shimmed when I get it in there, if I get it in there. Ah, okay. There we go. Alright. Now, I'll just get to play with it a little bit. That outlet's in a horrible spot. Horrible spot. Ah, oh, that is not going to work. I can't even get to it. Because when I put the top on, the whole thing's going to be covered. Alright. Well, i got to take the tin off, take the sheetrock off, move the outlet up or down. Probably just going to move it up. No, because we're putting that in here. So we're going to lower it. This is taking forever. But... This is what it's going to look like. Let me get this boring part done and I'll come back. All right, I got all this out. And fortunately, I can. I do got enough to move that downward. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the breaker off before I do. That's uh, that's 30 amp uh, line. So we don't want to take any chances of hitting anything. I'm going to move that down just enough to where it's underneath the counter. And then I'm going to plug the uh, stove top from underneath the counter then all that's hidden now would be the ideal time to uh run another outlet if i want it and i'm gonna think on that a second but no okay we were going to come off this that's right because i don't want it off of that but we were going to come off of this and i am going to wait because i know what i'm doing for my when I do this so it'll work out better that way so I'm gonna go ahead and lower that put the thing back on and get the counter on all right we got the outlet lowered I should be able to it, the, the cabinet is not going to go any further back than that uh, simply because this wall is out of square it angles this way plus I got that solid beam right there so that is probably about square. The only problem I see is now with my cabinet door, it may or may not open. Uh, so we, we can modify those. That's no big deal. And I mean, I got to take them off anyway. It'd be no big deal to kind of scooch them down a little bit. And I decided against putting those drawers in here. Uh, I'm just going to put some cabinets. Uh, I'll get some plywood inside there later. Right now, I just want to worry about getting the top on. We're not going to do that today. This pretty much ate up my day. This took half an hour right in here, 45 minutes. Uh, so, you know, a little bit at a time. But, hey, that's the big part of it, getting the cabinet built. I don't know. I better go check on these dogs. Uh, they've been awful quiet today. I don't know what they're up to, man. So, here's my plan. Well, i got to have my microphone up here where you guys can hear me. We're going to go ahead and lay the, the butcher block down. Now, I have to, I've have to. i got tongue oil. I've got to put a few coats of that. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the center out for the oven first. That way I can get the tongue oil on the insides and all that. You're not supposed to take them out of the plastic until you're ready to do it. And I'm not ready to do it. Uh, we'll get these leveled out. Get them right. Then, once this is down... 
Wow, I don't like how the oven is, man. It's not really centered. But my plan, <laughs> yeah, I don't think my plan's gonna work with this cabinet here, guys. I think I'm gonna have to take this cabinet down. Because what my plan is, is to have the counter and then I'm gonna go up like you would see an old hutch that has the two cabinets above it. I'll find a picture and I'll put it right here and you can get an idea of what I'm doing. So something like that. And then the vent hood is gonna be part of that. And that way, you know, it, it comes apart if I need it to. But yeah, this cabinet, I, I need to, I need to, hey, I like this cabinet, but it needs to go. It's not gonna fit in with what I want to want to do here. As you can see, it's it's in the way. It wouldn't be centered, it wouldn't look good. But no biggie. We'll probably use all that. You know, I can probably take it apart, make it smaller, and uh, make it part of the deal. So we'll have the hutch here in the middle, and then, I don't know, we'll see what we get, we get done. And I am going to add an outlet here. So this is going to take me two or three days probably just to get all this done. That adds a little more time. This is nailed. This ain't screwed, so it ain't going to be fun getting this down. But it's just as well, because I've got to redo all this here, make this look good. All right, let's go see what them dogs is doing. I bet you these two are napping. That's what I need to do. Well, there's the boy. Where's Lily? Yeah, Lily can hear. She knows when I come in. Ah, you just had your supper. You're real warm. You've been laying out in the sun, Lily. All right, say goodbye to the people. We're done working today. Yeah, it's nap time. I'm going to get things put up. And I'm going to take a nap because I got up at 2 this morning. Then I went back to sleep at 6 and got up at 7. So I don't have any sleep. Okay, let's go see what Rooster's doing. What are you doing? Well, you did a good job on your supper. I'll get you some fresh water here in a second. You drank a lot of water this morning. Yeah, I put the fur pulling stick on you yesterday. And now you're, you're all raggedy again. Look how windy it is. Man. Got my plants out. They're doing all right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.